This morning, North Carolina Democrats held a press conference taking aim at some Republicans over raising the debt ceiling. Our digital reporter Victoria Holmes attended the conference and has more now on how it could affect you. She joins us now from the newsroom and Victoria Senate voted to raise the ceiling until December, but there's a lot of uncertainty about what will happen after. That's right, Angie. Raising the debt ceiling would allow the U.S. to borrow more money to pay debts and interest from previous administrations. This isn't a new conflict. Senate passed legislation raising the debt ceiling only until December, raising anxieties about freezing certain benefits like food assistance and veteran payouts. If the U.S. defaults on its debt, econom economists forecast a recession and stocks plunging. One veteran expresses his frustrations during today's press call. Over the next two months, North Carolina's military members, veterans, and their families are going to continue living in uncertainty, not knowing if they'll receive their salaries or if the veterans' disability claims will stall after November. I reached out to Senator Tillis' office. He sent a response in part stating, quote, it is alarming that President Biden and Democrats are intent on pushing for trillions more in spending that would make inflation even worse for North Carolina families, end quote. You can read the full statement and a response from Congressman Greg Murphy online at WNCT.com in the online originals tab. Now the conflict isn't over. The House will need to pack, will need to vote on this legislation on Tuesday. In the newsroom, Victoria Holmes, nine on your side. Victoria, thank you.